Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and MediaTek recently announced this new G90 series of chipsets that are set to bring high-end gaming performance on a budget. Now, they seem really interesting and well, we went hands-on with phones packing these new chipsets. So, what are you waiting for? Let's take a look at what the G90 series of chipsets brings and how they compare to the Snapdragon chipsets. Now, before we get started, I'd suggest you to hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's take a look at the new MediaTek G90 series of chipsets. So MediaTek launched two chipsets in the new G90 series, the Helio G90 and the Helio G90T. And well, since it's the G90 series, both of these chipsets aim to bring powerful gaming performance. Now the G90T is the more feature-packed of the two with support for 90Hz displays, higher clock CPU and GPU, support for more RAM and 64 megapixel cameras. So yeah, we'll obviously focus on the more powerful G90T. First up, it's specs time. The new MediaTek Helio G90T is a 12 nanometer octa-core processor featuring two Cortex-A76 and six Cortex-A55 cores that go up to 2.05 GHz. Honestly, we have processors with the seven and eight nanometer process, so 12 nanometer is a bit surprising. Anyway, coming to the GPU, the MediaTek Helio G90T comes with the ARM Mali G76 3EEMC4 GPU with speeds of up to 800 MHz, which is pretty impressive because this is higher than even the 672 MHz overclock speed of the Adreno 640 GPU in the Snapdragon 855 Plus. Anyway, the Helio G90T supports up to 10 GB of LPDDR4X RAM with peak frequency of up to 2133 MHz. And I like the fact that MediaTek has bundled a large L3 cache. Now, the specs seem impressive, but MediaTek isn't pitting the G90 series against the Snapdragon 855 or the Snapdragon 855 Plus. Instead, the G90 series is aimed at Snapdragon 730 and 730G, which are Qualcomm's mid-range processors that are also fairly powerful. So how do these chipsets compare? Well, if you put these chipsets side by side, you can see that the Snapdragon 730G has certain advantages. It has a higher clock speed and it is an 8 nanometer processor which theoretically means it should be more power efficient. Plus, it has Wi-Fi 6 and QHD Plus display support. On the other hand, the G90T does have a faster GPU, on paper obviously, and it has support for more RAM. So yeah, if you look at the specs, the Snapdragon processor does seem slightly better, but things change when it comes to the benchmark scores. Now, we could not test the benchmark scores of the MediaTek G90T, but the company compared the G90T benchmark scores against the Snapdragon 730 and 730G. And as you can see, the G90T scores are ahead when it comes to Antutu as well as Geekbench, which is a CPU benchmark. The Helio G90T also beats the Snapdragon 730 and 730G in gaming benchmarks like GFX and 3DMark, which is honestly impressive. That's not all though. The company even showed the G90T's frame rates in popular games and it's better. And even the game launching speeds are better than what you get with the Snapdragon 730G, another gaming specific processor. Now, we'll obviously test all of this out when we get a consumer-ready smartphone featuring the G90T processor. But from the looks of it, the MediaTek G90T does seem like the more powerful processor when compared to the Snapdragon 730 and 730G. Now, we did went hands-on with the demo G90T smartphone and the gaming experience was really smooth. PUBG Mobile worked almost flawlessly at the max graphics settings, so yeah, I am really excited for this chipset. Plus, the G90 series of processors brings a number of gaming-centric features that really enhance the experience. They come with MediaTek's new Hyper Engine gaming technology that brings a number of interesting features and optimizations on the chip level. There's Rapid Response Engine, which is set to make the touchscreen experience a lot smoother. With this, the games run on the lowest latency consistently, resulting in smoother and lag-free gameplay. There's HDR10 support, which, as you can see, makes a whole lot of difference in supported games. I mean, it's clear here that the MediaTek device shows better contrast, sharpness, and details. There is also intelligent resource management, which apparently makes sure you get a smooth and fluid gaming experience while also reducing power consumption. Apart from that, there are a couple of network-related features that I personally really like. There's call and data concurrency, which is super handy. So, say you're playing PUBG and you get a call. Well, the mobile data on your phone goes off and the game pauses, right? Well, this is what Helio G90T's feature fixes. As you can see, the game continues smoothly even if you get a call. It's awesome. That's not all. There's also Intelligent Network Prediction Engine, which switches the phone between Wi-Fi and LTE to make sure there's no lag in gameplay. 
Lastly, the Hyper Engine Tech also brings support for dual Wi-Fi networks. So a Helio G90 series phone will be able to connect to two Wi-Fi networks at once. Awesome, right? Now the Helio G90T is obviously aimed at gaming, but it has all the other features you expect from a modern day chipset. There are various AI features, AI accelerator, support for dual hot words, different camera features, 4G LTE modem with dual 4G support and more. So as you can see, the MediaTek G90T processor is a feature packed and pretty powerful processor that should bring high end gaming to the masses. I mean, the comparison with the Snapdragon 730 clearly suggests that the phones with the Helio G90 series chipsets will be mid-range phones in the 20k price segment. And well, in that price range, I think the Helio G90 and the G90T will make a lot of sense. And well, Qualcomm will finally have some competition. Now, Xiaomi has confirmed that they will bring a Helio G90T smartphone really soon. And I honestly can't wait to try it out. Well, those are my thoughts on the new MediaTek G90 series of chipsets. But what do you think? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And make sure to share this video with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. But that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.